Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Okay. you got to still work at it. Oh, I not, love it. I'm not going to work at it. Forget about it. Well, we got the first winner of the New York City Marathon, Gary Merkel. Merka. 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 Anyway, 1970, he won this race with a phenomenal time here in Central Park of 231. You got to climb that big hill four times. But anyway, on an 85, 85 degree hay. So let, tell us about that day you ran you, this you, race. You, that was it. Yeah, but what else? Were you, four loops of this walk is unbelievable. It was a hot summer day. You had to be a little bit stupid to actually start the race. And I was just lucky enough that I, I, I dogged somebody for two laps. And then when he, that person left the course, I was all by myself. So I, I and uh, I didn't see Moses Mayfair until I didn't pass him for 23 miles. Oh, so you caught somebody at the end. Last ice. night, for the first time, I apologized to Moses for passing. <laughs> So how much did you win by? Oh, a couple of minutes. I actually won by about three or four minutes. I mean, the times were really very, very slow. No, they weren't. They were back then, those were great times. Uh, well, I got a question. Where did the race start and where did it finish? It started right here, I believe. Oh, in the parking lot it here? It started right oh. here. Or right there in 66? No, it started In right the parking here. lot here. And we went one low, lower loop, and then we did four of the uh, six miles. And then where did it finish? Right here. Right, here. right there in the same spot where it, was, it finishes now. It was right. just about. I'm Hugh Sweeney. I missed the race because I hurt my foot the week before. Otherwise, he would have won. Uh, no, Otherwise, he would have won. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't in 231 shape at the time, but it would have been second or third. It started on the, right near the start. How, how oh, how so they in 70, 14? About 10, something like So that. they did start right out there in the street. Yeah, as I recall. And finish there. Start and finish the same spot. We started right here. Oh. If you get a picture of the start. Yeah. Where those two, where the two signs are. Yes. Yeah. You didn't start and make a right hand turn to go around we the We did. That you look, at, you that, look at the picture. That picture of Lynn Blackstone and all those girls sitting on the road. No, no, that was. That was the same starting point. No, no, no. no. I'll show you the picture. There's a picture, and it surfaced last year. Oh, well, there was a picture, picture. at the there's a picture ah. at the uh, expo. Somebody took. There's a, picture. a timeline at the expo. Take a look at the expo in the corner after they get their shirts. There is a there's a picture there that might have been the, that showed the start. There was a banner across I, I, uh, hooked think, on two I street. I think you're right. Somebody took it from an apartment. Building. Right, and it was a and then the race officials were right the there. Sure, you're you, right. You believe, I'm afraid you're right. Yeah. You can, you can see Joe Burns. Oh, this is the first winner of the race. I know that. He's, That's he's right. world I famous. <laughs> And you ran the virtual last year. You did part of the course. Right? I did, yes, yes. Yeah. Are you running tomorrow or are you running Oh, tomorrow? Lord, yes. My first New York City man. Oh, oh, congratulations. Awesome. Good luck. Thank what's you. N What's NYF? New York Flyers. Oh, New York Flyers. The Flyers. They've been around forever. Yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. then how you ran it, what? How many times did you run a total? I, I think I've run I think I've run it about 13 times. When was the last time you ran? The 40. Oh, and did you ever win it again? Oh! And you said your best time was 224 here? Yeah, I run 224. And that was in the park? Or was it on the five borough? On the, uh, and what year was that? I have no idea. Well, it's hard to remember. <laughs> did you win? Okay, so you, did you win any other marathon? Yes. Which one? Yonkers twice, Okay. Tree once. Cherry Tree, I heard, was in here. No, we. I ran the cherry tree that was on the um, up in the Bronx. Tom Hollander said he won. He did win one. I asked him. He lives over in Ypsilanti and went to Eastern Michigan. That's where I'm from. Oh. He used to so, run our races. He was yes. Yeah, he was, he was, well, he went to Eastern oh, Michigan. Right. He still lives over there now. Over there at uh, Ypsilanti. I saw him last night. Yeah, I interviewed him while, while you guys were out there. So. Then, how do you think you did around 150 marathons in your day? Excuse me, folks. And so you're all done. You're going to be cheering us on tomorrow. I'm going to run next year. The last thing. I love it. Okay. okay. Tell me one last thing. When you were 40, did you, you broke 220 or you were close to 220 when you were 40 years old? I am 223 when I was 43. At Boston, you said. That was your PR. You told me. That was my PR. Yeah. Was the wind must have been at your back that day, right? With, uh, something like that. <laughs> There's a lot of people have had PRs in Boston. 
On a good day, you can have PR Boston. Oh, so if you're a downhill runner. Yeah. This is the downhill course. Yeah. Well, great talking to you. Love hearing the history. 50 years. Did you ever think it'd be here 50 years later? Thank God. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, we're here 50 years later. We are. We are. Cool. That's the most. Uh, the excitement is unbelievable. I'm, I'm very happy. It's really. Um, well, New York is really coming back. You know, uh, we were up in Boston. It was because it wasn't Patriots Day. It was a little bit. The excitement wasn't there like it has been in the past. So maybe in April, when it's Patriots Day, it'll be a great race again. But it's exciting just to be here. And what a day, man. The sun is magnificent standing here. Are you going to be along? Are you going to be here tomorrow? I'm going to be or? at the breakfast. I watch the race from there, and I'm going to come out just before the finish line and uh, watch them finish. What makes the New York City Marathon so special for you personally? I want it. <laughs> That's what makes it special. What was your time the first ever? Two thirty-one thirty-eight. And how many times did you run it since then? I've run it twelve or thirteen times. I'm not sure. I never. I don't keep. I didn't keep a record. Are you excited to see it come back after last year? It's only been canceled twice ever. Right. No, I'm excited, I guess, and I think they're doing a pretty good job also getting it back. The excitement, I mean, just with this race this morning, uh, the excitement of the people running it, uh, yeah. We love hearing about how the race has changed over the years. When you first ran it, did you think it would become this big Absolutely thing? Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. But after a while, I'm, I'm, I think we have to go another step further. I think there should be 100,000 people <laughs> in the race. How many people were in that first race? Only 126, and only 55 finished. We had a tremendous dropout rate because it was an extremely hot day, and this is an extremely difficult course. Was it the same course? No, we were in the park here. Six, you know, uh, Laps we actually, around the park, We actually right? started here and went once around the lower loop and four times around the, the six-mile loop. And it's really, if you've done it once, that's enough. Do you like the new course much better? Oh, for the five borough jets. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's, I like the point to point race. I will never run a marathon ever again in my life that we went around and around. Are you entertaining the thought of running it next year? Um, uh, entertaining, yeah, it's a, I like challenges. And uh, that would be a challenge, but uh, who knows? Ask me around September next year. That's good. Can we get you to spell your name for us, please? M-U-H-R-C-K-E. My first name is Gary. G-A-R-Y. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so Gary, much. what's it like to be standing here 50 years later after the game? Good to be standing here. <laughs> In the sun? I mean, I'm, all, I'm still alive. I'm still able to run a little bit. I mean... Uh, I, I run with the Central Park Medicare team on Thursday mornings. And somebody said, why are we doing this? And somebody said, well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll inspire some people to run. So maybe that's a good thing. You inspired a lot of people to run uh, since he first won the marathon. Well, I think that we're getting a little bit older and we're still doing it. And we still look reasonably healthy. I think... Uh, we should, uh, hopefully, we, that, that's, our, I guess, our goal now. Inspire some younger people to get up off their ass and move. How old are you now? 81. 81, so you ran up when you were 31. I was, yeah, 30. 30. Actually, we missed, we missed two years. We missed Sandy and we missed last year. So, okay? Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you. you.